Just a beautiful day today. Hello guys, how is everyone? Oh my goodness, it feels like um it feels like minus 15 today, but uh, it's sunshine outside, so it is okay. So today's video, I am driving. While I'm driving, I have to answer one of the questions from my subscriber regarding caregiver nanny here in Canada. So her question is, if I am going to come and work caregiver nanny in Canada, is it necessarily, is it compulsory to um, have a driver license? Okay, you stay with me until the end of this video. <laughs> Guess what guys? Guess what guys, if you see my background, there is, if you see my background is, uh, we have a snow last night. That's why it's all over, it's, um, it's snow. But, uh, you know, for my answer, if you have planned to come and work caregiver nanny in Canada, guys, remember to become a nanny or, um, Caregiver in Canada is one of the pathway to become a permanent resident because that's my pathway, okay? So, um, my answer is when I first came to Canada, I had no idea. I had no clue how to drive everything like zero, okay? And I'm just lucky because my employer, they don't need me to know how to drive, but they still hire me to come here in Canada. But in my own advice, okay, if you have planned to come and work caregiver, to take care of elderly people, or to take care of children, like in a private home, some employer, they prefer the employee know how to drive, okay? Because you know, Canadian people here in Canada, they want their children to be like active after school. Like, oh my gosh, the sun is so bright. <laughs> sun is so bright. So anyway, I'm a little stuck here. I don't know why it's traffic. But uh, guys, <laughs> it's so sunshine. Um, you need to have a driver license as much as you can, as possible. You move to Canada, you have to learn how to drive, okay? Because uh, sometimes employer, they prefer a person, employee know how to drive. Because sometimes employer here in Canada, if they have like elementary grade, children after their school in the evening they enroll their children to some uh like extra activities for their children to do something right like for example they enroll their children to go swimming lesson they enroll their children to go play hockey they enroll for their like any kind of activities you know so most of the kids they have that activities here okay so that is a plus factor for you if you are going to apply nanny here in Canada in a private family and if they know you know how to drive then they they might hire you okay so that's my advice as possible and you know what guys it's more easy if you have the uh, driving experience in your country then even though you are not that an expert driver if you uh, come to Canada then at least you don't have to start from the scratch because for me when I came here I have no idea I don't nothing no nothing no driving because I uh, you know we don't have a vehicle in Philippines I grew up like we have only Carabao you know so uh, yeah and um if you are going to work also as a caregiver taking care of elderly people most of the elderly people uh they they still have to go and do some activities too you know and uh, anyway when i was a caregiver taking care of one lady i um because i don't know how to drive eh so my employer uh children because they're my employer i take care and 78 years old so her daughter is the one who like you know responsible to make the appointments everything for their mom so uh when they have the appointments for their mom sometimes i have to take her to the doctor's appointment or i'm going to take the mom to go to do the hair you know and uh, sometimes there's a taxi there's a taxi who come over and take us like every week okay and uh yeah 
and also there's a uh, like a bus for the elderly people that is cheaper than the taxi they come over and took the like elderly people if they can able to walk and they can still function they can able to do some activities because um the people here who have the aids like in their 80s or 90s if they can able to walk or even if they are in their wheelchair they also have their activities to do like uh, they go play bingo they go swimming oh my gosh i tell you that's why um it is necessary compulsory because it's not only for you to work as a caregiver because you need that for your personal you know someday you don't have to work like nanny forever right what if you're going to work like uh, in a morning shift or night shift like someday you become a permanent resident you want to work another job and you know you want to work two jobs how can you run and work in your next job right so and it's winter like this it's snow everywhere it's not easy to wait for the bus here so for you guys before you come to canada my always advice is just get your driver license and uh, drive before you come here because uh it's not easy when the snow comes it's very cold winter like freezing cold minus 30 minus 40 it's no way it's not easy you know so it is compulsory to drive in canada okay so for me that's my own advice you need to drive before you come to canada or if you are not comfortable to drive in your country it's okay you can come to canada and later you can practice driving here and it's fine also okay so uh because you know what when you have small children guys when you have small children in canada they go to school you need to drop them to go to school right it doesn't matter you take your children to a daycare center you still have to drive them and the daycare center is going to pick up your children and children in school right so uh you have to okay guys for your own good sake anyway but let me tell you not all people can drive okay as long as uh, one of you can drive like husband can drive and if wife is not it's okay at least you have one in the family because if you're going to buy groceries you're not gonna drive taxi like call taxi all the time or you know so just even one in a family at least driving that's why my you know my nephew and nieces they are in new in canada and i push them to go and get their learners and i told them you need to drive you see the situation already and it's fun to driving because so, summertime guys winter time so many things to do the activities we can go to the mountain go and um summertime we like we go drive around in like anywhere in alberta because you are a driver right so that's the advantage when you have a car you know how to drive you know it's fun you cannot just be stuck in your house or you can go and ride with your friends no they don't have well yeah we don't have to expect our friend like drive us too we don't do that here in canada okay it's probably your friends if you are new to canada and uh, your friend can give you like uh give you a ride to work or you are going to uh buy groceries especially if you are new to canada it's okay but not all the time they will do it for you right so think about that guys it is necessary to get your uh, driver license you know how to drive in canada okay anyway it's all up to you but uh, as much as you can do what i say okay Look at that it's snow. We have a uh, snow this morning, last night. Not see. Oh, look at that. It's still I have some onions left over here, and I need some. So thank God. Oh, it's frozen inside, but I still have to take this one because you know what? Look at that. I didn't. Uh, I have so many kale in the back. And I didn't took them all and it was like the snow came so see that's still green it's a little frozen but it's okay because I need it for my uh, soup I was uh... see that I'm just uh, shoveling my 
my driveway. Almost second week of uh, November, guys. And yeah, actually it was melted for like two weeks. Then the snow came last night. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.